What's up? My name's Evan from uh, Cage Nine. Uh, born and raised in Panama, Republic of Panama. Uh, been living in Los Angeles for the past almost 13 years. Our band, Cage Nine, uh, has been around pretty much forever, as long as I can remember. The name has basically just followed me around. The band itself has been like a, just a ridiculous amount of different people throughout the years, total spinal tap. But essentially, it's been like the band that I've had since high school, you know. So, I mean, you can kind of say we're like a 90s band, which really dates me to a point that makes me sad. But, but uh, no, we're like a new, young, hot, awesome band. <laughs> if we could show the from our hearts into the chaos of our minds, we could turn Some people might be asking, why do you speak such good English if you're from the Republica de Panama? And the answer is, uh, Panama is kind of like a mix, you know, there, we, there was American schools, my mom's American, and I grew up in the Panama Canal Zone. My dad's Panamanian, so I kind of was like from both worlds. I grew up listening to mostly American rock music and inspired by everything from like ACDC to Guns N' Roses to Iron Maiden to, dare I say, like 80s glam metal. Panama is always like 10 years behind everybody else, so we always got like the movies later, we got like, you know, the music kind of fads came through like a little bit later. Since the beginning, Cage 9 has always maintained a little bit of like guitar shreddery and, you know, just kind of like interesting guitar work. And uh, just in general, I would say that's kind of like the theme behind the band is kind of like going a little bit further than you think you can manage in terms of musically. I've always shot, try to shoot a little bit higher than we thought we were really capable of. And, uh, you know, never really thinking we were better or cooler than anybody else, just was trying to do your own thing. And that was kind of the theme behind the band's name, which is Cage Nine. Cage is in cage and nine is in German word for no so no cage that was the theme behind it. <laughs> so we ended up moving to Los Angeles not really for any particular reason it just seemed like the right place to go and uh, in hindsight I guess in reality we could have gone probably anywhere where rent was cheap so we kind of chose <laughs> a place that was harder to survive <clears throat> but uh, you know LA does have a bit of a music scene it's really eclectic it's a lot of fun there's so much music going on so for that reason, we landed in kind of an interesting place. You know, a lot of awesome stuff has happened. You know, we've gotten to open for Ozzy Osbourne. We've got to uh, recently open for Bad Religion. Uh, we've traveled the globe. We've put out probably almost almost like eight albums, I think. We're currently working on our new album. We met our Japanese label basically on MySpace, or should I say they, they kind of found us. So if you kind of puts us back in the like mid-late 2000s, I think it was like 2007, they discovered us on MySpace and they reached out to us and they ended up releasing pretty much every record we've put out since 2007 and it's resulted in a bit of a fan base over Japan so you could say we're like big in Japan which is awesome but we go back every couple years and play shows uh, to this day they still claim that our record our first record that they released El Motivo sold like more than any of those records have sold and of course the marketplace for music has changed over the past like you know seven or eight years but um, we're still proud to say that we're the band that has sold most on their label, which is really cool. But I think we've released officially about eight records, but uh, there's actually more unofficial like releases that we never quite did. So I mean, we've probably got, I mean, pushing like nine or ten albums worth of uh, music. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> we're about to release the next record. I think it's going to be called Illuminator, like the single that we did release earlier this year, and. Uh, I'd say we're about a month away from finishing it. We've got about like eight or nine songs done, and we hope to finish like four or five more. When we left Panama, we were just, you know, a local band, and no matter what has happened for us since then, we're still, we've become like this band as they say, the Afuera, we're like, you know, we're like a stateside band. This is Panamanian, but at the same time, we go back and we're like, 
we're more popular now because we're not from there anymore, I guess. So it's always great, you know. I mean, it's it's always like a really emotional thing to go back and play in Panama. We still, it's like every band has to have like you know, every band we meet up here has like a hometown, a home state, or whatever, and we have like a home country that's totally separate from everything here in the states. So last year, we, we have, we've actually for the past year or so we've been working on this new record. Uh, about a, it's, it's coming up on about a year since we did our last tour. So we spent uh, about a month and a half out with a band called Straight Line Stitch and another band called Dead Horse Trauma. <clears throat> and uh, it was awesome. We, we did most of the states. Um, both of those bands have continued on a tour pretty much nonstop since then. So those guys have been living in their vans ever since then, which is amazing. I'm actually kind of jealous. That is kind of just, but uh, the tour tour is really fun. We started in L.A. with an awesome Troubadour show. That was like our hometown, you know, L.A. show. It was really cool. It was probably one of the coolest L.A. shows we've played in a long time. And uh, and we visited everywhere from uh, <clears throat> North Dakota to like Illinois. It's it's been awesome. I mean, we've spent a lot of. big camping trip you go with all your friends you get out to meet the people you've been talking to and who've been fans of yours online and who you know finally get to see you for the first time live making pe other people's lives better by making music that they enjoy and you know it's a you know it gives you a reason to be on the planet so it's great lately we've been uh, in the process of making our own videos <laughs> you know we, we basically make our own albums right here in this very room we, uh, we record everything we uh, We've always been a very DIY, do-it-yourself kind of band, and uh, now that is extended to making the actual videos. So we're finishing a new video for a song right now called Everything You Love Will Someday Die. Uh, we had like <clears throat> all our friends and fans we can kind of muster and one day come in here and essentially sing the lyrics and act out different parts of the, of the song. And uh, we've, we're just finishing compiling that this week, and then so over, over the next month or so, hopefully we'll be releasing it. Everything is pretty much Cage9, so uh, Cage9.com, YouTube.com, Cage9, uh, Cage9 Official on Instagram. That's about it for the twists. Cage, Facebook.com, Cage9. Check it out. Come on.